Hello everybody. Um, many people around New England know me as the Animal Man. Um, but you'll probably get to know me more as Animal Man Survivor. Um, my real name is Matt though. And um, I'm going to give you like a little introduction here uh, to, who, to who I am and you know why I'm doing this and that kind of thing. So I, I feel like we have to do this. Um, i trying to think here. So the reason why people call me Animal Man is I own a company that does live animal presentations and I teach about um, conservation and um, responsible pet ownership and things like that. And it's my full-time job. I've been doing this since I was 17. I've been doing it full-time for about nine years, but I'm doing it you know, on and off since I was 17. And um, I travel all over Massachusetts where I live. I go to New Hampshire, into Maine, Rhode Island, the Connecticut, you know, all around the area here. And I go to libraries, schools, birthday parties. I do a lot of nursing homes. I do scouting events, things like that, all kinds of places. So um, that's why people call me the Animal Man. And what I began doing is uh, about two years ago, I began teaching wilderness survival, which I wanted to teach for a long, long time. My background with the wilderness survival goes back even further than you know, with the animals. Like I said, I've been doing animal shows since I was 17. The survival stuff I've been into since I can remember, I mean, when I was maybe 11 or 12, somewhere around there, I remember my dad bought me this book from the bookstore. It was called Tom Brown's Guide to Wilderness Survival. And um, I became obsessed with this book. I read it cover to cover, maybe 10 times or more. And then I'd be out in the backyard trying to duplicate everything from the book, traps, friction fire with the bowl drill or flint and steel, um, spears, I had all kinds of shelters and huts back there in the woods and um, edible plants, all kinds of crazy stuff. And uh, my parents just like let me go back in the woods and you know, kiss me goodbye and I'd be out there the whole day or you know something like that. Or after school I'd be out there all the time. So I've always loved this stuff and um, I really got into it a lot more in a big way right before my son was born. My wife, you know, knowing I was into this stuff, she thought, you know, before you become a dad, I'll get you a really awesome gift. And she she paid for me to go to a survival school. And I went to this survival school for a week, and you camped there for a week with about 100 other people, and they taught you how to survive anywhere in North America, and it was awesome. And uh, I went back there again three years later to take the advanced week-long course, which was epic. I mean, it was awesome. So that got me like really, really into this stuff. And becoming a father though, got me not just into the survival, got me more into like preparedness. Um, the idea of becoming a dad really scared the heck out of me. And I thought, you know, what if we're without power or without heat and um, you know, we don't have extra water and, and this and that and the other thing, all this stuff. And I got very, very overwhelmed and um, so that's what like really lit a fire into my butt, so to speak, and got me, uh, you know, a lot more into all these different things. So that's what my background is, and and doing my animal shows, it, it's kind of cool because I don't have a nine to five job like other people, like most other people rather. You know, I have anywhere from one show to five or six shows a day in all different places, a lot of traveling in between them, and a lot of times I get there early and I have time to kill, so I bring projects to do. Um, I'm always out, you know, making myself salads from wild plants, and uh, I'll make salads for my animals too sometimes. So it's 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 compound learning. It's like at school, you know, instead of doing one whole day of math, you do a little bit of math every day, and before long it adds up. It's like the same kind of thing here. So um, I go all over and I practice things all the time, and a lot of people I don't think have the time and the ability to do that. So that's how I've been able to learn as quickly as possible on my own. I mean, I went to the school twice for a week each time, but the majority of what I learned has been on my own, uh, self-taught, just trial and error, screwing things up and, and, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, literally, so to speak. Um, so to speak, but literally. Um, so what else do I want to tell you? Let me think here. All right, well, first of all, I'm not a doomsday prepper like you hear about. And some of these YouTube channels are that type of people for that type of audience. I'm not that. I don't feel like I am. And even if I were, I sure as heck wouldn't call myself that because, you know, just, just being called a prepper, you think someone's a kook. So that's not how I look at it. I look at it like this. Like, 
most people have insurance. You might have homeowner's insurance. You might have car insurance, hopefully. You know, those are things that you have in case you need them. Hopefully you never need them, right? But then being in this survival um, mindset, you know, the first thing you worry about is shelter, then water, then fire, then food. And if you think about it that way, you know, yeah, you're always your shelter. You have homeowner's insurance. But what if, you know, last winter in Massachusetts, it was horrible. People were snowed in and all kinds of damage to their house. And the only thing that could have made it worse was if power went out. And it didn't, which shocked me, but it didn't. But if you were snowed in with, with snow that bad and without power, oh my goodness, like, you know, people could have died from that. So you need some other way to heat your house. You need, instead of just homeowner's insurance, you need... You know, heating and lighting for water. You know, people don't have water water insurance. My fire's almost going out here. So you need to store water. You need to have that in case you can't get out. Last winter, that's a good example right there. I mean, what are you going to do? Um, you need to have food. You need to have some extra food. The average home in America has three days worth of food. Um, that's it. I mean, after that... Slim pickings. You'll be eating some snacks if you have that. Eating all the stuff that you had in the pantry sitting there that you haven't wanted to eat. So I look at this, I look at survival like an insurance policy. So that, that's the way I think people should, should look at it. Aside from that, um, we're going to be talking about not just whether it's survival, we're going to be talking about bushcrafting. Um, you'll probably learn pretty quick with me that what I'm best at it is is not just survival it's building things you know making wooden bows making all kinds of things i do little things with electronics i do all kinds of stuff so building things bushcrafting is part of it anything having to do with self-reliance i'm all about taking care of yourself um a lot of it's going to be family oriented preparedness family family preparedness so it's not crazy prepper stuff it's stuff that you would feel comfortable discussing and doing with your wife your husband your kids things like that that you should do as a family in case power goes out or something like that anyway um we're going to progress into more kind of hardcore things to know just so you have more tools in your toolbox um you know it's it's all up in here and um there's also going to be a lot of homesteading type of things. I love plants. I'm working on building a food forest outside and uh, that, that sort of thing. So there's going to be a lot of videos on that also. So who is this channel for? It's not for Doomsday Preppers. This channel, first and foremost, is for my family, my friends, my community. These are things that I feel like at this point I feel I know enough about it. I have no, enough experience that I feel an obligation that if people want to know it, they should be able to go to a trusted source and access it there without hitting them over the head with it. You know, I don't I don't try to bring this up with my family all the time. I really don't bring it up at all unless they ask me about something. You, it's the kind of thing where you, you can't hit people over the head with it because then they'll think you're nuts and a pain in the butt and they're not going to want to talk to you and they'll, you know, think you're one of those kooks. So it's for a family, friends, community. I, um... I proudly am the new den leader of my son's Cub Scout uh, den. So it's going to be for the scouts in our pack, any scouts, Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts. It's for scouts because they're very preparedness, um, you know, be prepared, prepared to story to people. So a lot of the things in here, naturally, they're going to gravitate towards, which is kind of cool. And then um, I do offer... For my programs, I do survival programs. I've done a whole bunch of them for libraries, places like that. And people have asked me, you know, do you have a website? Which I do, but do you have some way we can follow up and learn more? Or that you have this information that you taught us here, if we can't remember it, to follow up? So this is for them too. This is all the things that I teach in my different programs live. I'm going to have videos for on here eventually to share with people. So that way they can follow up on it. If they forgot something. They can see the video. It's like I'm teaching it to you all over again live. Um, almost live, you know, live. <laughs> and uh, it's um, it's also to, to expand their learning. If they like the way I taught, they liked the, the material, they can come on here and they can, they can learn more. They can see there's a whole world of different things we're going to be discussing and learning on here together. 
And then it's for everyone else. It's for the whole YouTube community. Everyone, you know, anybody who, who's into this stuff hopefully will watch this and get something from it. And I take pride, a lot of pride in, you know, in general, if, I, if something is worth doing, it's worth doing well. That's what I try to do with everything. I research things. I'm not just going to tell you something that I've heard someone do or heard about or tried once. I'm going to teach you guys things that I've done over and over that I know work because I've done it. Um, unless I tell you that, hey, you know, I think this will work. I haven't tried it. But I'll tell you guys. I'll tell you that. So that's the deal. Um, <laughs> It's gonna be it's gonna be a whirlwind, an epic ride. There's gonna be a lot of crazy stuff on here as we go along. So uh, buckle up and here we go.